So here's a really cool trick that I just learned how to do using AI. AI did the work for me. I went to Seeking Alpha. I got the earnings for my stock, IQ, and I just copied the data. It only has four years of numbers. So I fed it to Perplexity AI. And I said, use the following data to make an educated guess for when the EPS will be $1 and what year. Make a table. Remember, it doesn't have the data. Uh, IQ, the Netflix of China, is supposed to make 51 cents by 2027, according to analysts. But we have nowhere on here, no way to know when it can make a dollar. But I'm curious. I want to know because I want to invest. Well, I punched it in and sure enough, AI figured it out for me. And here's the answer. To make an educated guess for when the EPS will reach $1, let's analyze the given data and extrapolate the trend. We'll create a table with the provided information and extend it to estimate future years. How cool is that? It did it. So it only had data. I only gave it data up until 2027. And then I asked it to fill in the blanks. Now, normally I would do this myself, but uh, AI could do it for you and probably better than, than me or, or you, right? So it's estimating 2031 and maybe 2032 might be a good estimate for when this stock could earn a dollar. Now that's useful information because I'm bullish the stock. Like I own shares, but I want to know how, how bullish I should be. It used to be a $20 stock and as high as $40, but it's collapsed. It's now a $2.47 stock. But if it it, if it started to earn a dollar, it might be, go back to a $20 stock. So now I know that by 2031, I might have a, a, a $20 stock. And that was all thanks to this uh, search on perplexity. Now, I know it might take a while. I know my stock is a good value. It has a 9% earnings yield right now. Price to sales is really low, really attractive. Price to cash flow is four, which is also very attractive. And it's near the tangible book value. These are all the signs that I'm on the right track. However, China has, has a lot of issues still. The stimulus, the, the market doesn't think the stimulus is strong enough. It might take years for it to kick in. I'm just scanning through a few different articles. And I was reading today, we already knew this, but China is going through a balance sheet recession, which means that they're kind of handcuffed with their ability just to make loans because there's a bunch of bad debt that is stuffing the pipeline. So lawmakers on Monday reviewed a proposal to raise China's local government debt limit to replace hidden debt. Off-balance sheet liabilities accrued by finance vehicles set up by lower-level authorities. So that's going to take a long time to work through. Uh, China won't be out of the woods for a while. It will, it'll take a long time to process. However, that doesn't mean my stock isn't a good value or that we shouldn't be looking for bargains. It just means that, you know, times will be rough. There will be bargains and it may take a while for them to realize enthusiastic valuations. So I'm willing to wait for this one to, uh, for this and, and the other ones I'm investing in to realize their value because that's really all I can do. I can't make this go up um, and I, I, I can't only look for stock that's already moving up. This is how you find bargains. You buy them when they're cheap and you really, you just have to wait. So still willing to wait on this one. I will stay tuned and keep you posted on any China news that comes around. If you have any questions, 
leave them in the comments. I know a few people are following IQ. Let me know your thoughts.